Hello friends, I'm Sandy Scroggins. I am here today to show you how I made 15 cards using the Keller's Creations Hello Love Card Connections Kit. The pattern papers were so much fun to work with and the cut aparts are so cute. For adhesive, I used art glitter glue and my ATG gun. All my cards are standard American A2 size, which is five and a half by four and a quarter inches. For measurements, please visit my coordinating blog at thecraftybean.com. Now let's get started. For my first card design, I used card sketch number four by Sugar Pea Designs. I cut a piece of teal cardstock to five and a half by four and a quarter inches and adhered it to the card base. I cut a piece of pink cardstock to 5 by 3 inches and rounded one corner. I cut a piece of pink triangle pattern paper to 4 and 3 quarters by 2 and 3 quarters inches and rounded one corner. I adhered the two of them together, then adhered that to the center of the card. I cut a piece of black cardstock to 4 and a quarter by 1 and 1 eighth inches and a piece of black arrow pattern paper to 4 by 1 inch and adhered them together. I adhered that to the left side of the card. I adhered the banner included in the kit to the top left side of the card at an angle. Then I adhered the sealed with a kiss cut apart to the bottom right side of the card. And here is the completed card. For my second card design, I used card sketch number 36 by Sugar Pea Designs. I cut a piece of polka dot pattern paper to five and a half by four and a quarter inches and adhered it to the card base. I cut a piece of the love border strip to one by four and a quarter inches and adhered it to the center of the card. I die cut a scallop border out of pink cardstock and adhered it adjacent to the love border strip. I adhered the PS I love you circle cut apart to the left center of the card. Then I adhered the forever circle cut apart to the bottom of the PS I love you cut apart. And here is the completed card. For my third card design, I used card sketch number 44 by Sugar Pea Designs. I cut a piece of red pattern paper to two and a half by four inches, and then I cut a piece of black circle pattern paper to two and three quarters by four inches. I turned them over and taped them together. Using the flower and heart pattern paper, I placed it over the two other pattern papers at an angle, flipped everything over, and trimmed away the excess. 
This way I am able to leave a 1 quarter inch white border on my card. I adhered the black circle pattern paper and the red pattern paper to the center of the card base. I adhered the flower and heart pattern paper to the left side of the card. Then I adhered the you had me at hello circle cut apart overlapping the corner of the flower and heart pattern paper. And here is the completed card. For my fourth card design, I used card sketch number 51 by Sugar Pea Designs. I cut a piece of pink cardstock to 3 and 3 quarters by 4 and a quarter inches and rounded two of the corners. I cut a piece of colorful pattern paper to 1 by 3 and a half inches and rounded one corner. I adhered that to the top of the pink cardstock. I cut a piece of pink swirl pattern paper to 3 by 3 and a half inches and rounded one corner. I adhered that to the pink cardstock. Then I adhered that piece to the center of the card. I adhered the blue XOXO circle cut apart to the lower right side of the centerpiece. And here is the completed card. For my fifth card design, I used card sketch number 544 by Mojo Monday. I cut a piece of red cardstock to 5.5 by 4.25 inches and adhered it to the card base. I cut a piece of red pattern paper to 5.25 by 4 inches and adhered it to the card. I cut a piece of pink cardstock to 3 by 4.5 inches and adhered it to the center of the card. I cut a two of the one inch border strips to one by four inches and adhered them to the left side of the card. One is pink and the other is blue. I cut a piece of pattern paper to two and a quarter by three inches and adhered it to the card. Then I adhered the Be My Valentine cut apart to the card. And here is the completed card. For my sixth card design, I used card sketch number 561 by My Favorite Things. I took the 4x4 colorful pattern paper and attached it to the bottom center of the card base. Then I cut a piece of white checkered pattern paper to 1 and a quarter by 4 inches and adhered it to the top center of the card. I took the You're My Type cut apart and adhered it at an angle on the card. Then I adhered the Circle Cupid cut apart to the top right corner of the You're My Type cut apart. And here is the completed card. 
For my seventh card design, I used card sketch number 29 by Sugar Pea Designs. I cut a piece of red cardstock to five and a half by four and a quarter inches and adhered it to the card base. I cut the one inch piece of heart border strip to one by six inches and adhered it at an angle to the center of the card. I flipped the card over and trimmed away the overhang. Then I adhered the you make my heart smile cut apart to the center of the card. And here is the completed card. For my eighth card design, I used card sketch number 43 by Freshly Made Sketches. I cut a piece of red cardstock to four by five and a half inches and adhered it to the center of the card. I cut a piece of white checkered patterned paper to two by four inches and adhered it to the left side of the card. I cut a piece of red pattern paper to one and a half by three and three eighths inches and adhered it overlapping the white checkered pattern paper. Then I adhered the Be My Valentine cut apart to the center of the card. And here is the completed card. For my ninth card design, I used card sketch number 230 by My Favorite Things. I cut a piece of blue pattern paper to three and a quarter by four and a quarter inches and rounded all four of the corners. I adhered that to the center of the card. I cut a piece of red cardstock to three and a quarter by two inches and made a tag out of it. I adhered that to the right center of the blue pattern paper. I cut the one inch heart border strip to three and three quarters by one inch, cut a fish fishtail on both sides and adhered it to the center of the card. Then I adhered the all of me loves all of you circle cut apart to the left center of the card. And here is the completed card. For my 10th card design, I used card sketch number 208 by Operation Write Home. I had misplaced the card sketch when I was making the card, but I do show it at the end of this video. I cut a piece of pattern paper to five and a half by four and a quarter inches and adhered it to the center of the card. Using black cardstock, I punched out five one quarter inch circles and one two inch circle. I cut a piece of pink cardstock to two and a half by five and a half inches turned it over and added adhesive to the right side of the cardstock. I arranged the five black circles on the pink cardstock so that only one half of each of them was showing. Then I adhered it to the center of the card. I cut a straight edge on the two inch black circle and adhered it to the left side of the pink cardstock. Then I adhered the you and me red circle cut apart to the bottom right of the two inch black circle. And here is the completed card. For my 11th card design, I did not use a card sketch and made a super simple card. I cut a piece of four by four inch blue pattern paper to four by three and three quarter inches and adhered it to the center left of the card. Then I adhered three of the circle cut aparts to the right side of the blue pattern paper.
And here is the completed card. For my 12th card design, I used card sketch number 160 by Freshly Made Sketches. I cut a piece of pink cardstock to 5.5 by 4.25 inches and adhered it to the card base. I cut a piece of flower and heart pattern paper to 2 by 4.5 inches and cut a fishtail on one side of it. I adhered that to the left center of the card. I cut a piece of red cardstock to 1.5 by 3.58 inches and adhered it to the right of the flower and heart pattern paper. I adhered the follow your heart square cut apart to the upper center of the card. Then I adhered one of the circle cut aparts to the bottom right corner of the follow your heart square cut apart. And here is the completed card. For my 13th card design, I did not use a card sketch and made another super simple card. I cut a piece of blue pattern paper to 2 and 3 quarters by 5 and a half inches and adhered it to the left side of the card. I cut a piece of polka dot pattern paper to 1 and a half by 5 and a half inches and adhered it to the right side of the card. I cut a piece of red cardstock to 1 quarter by 5 and a half inches and adhered it overlapping the two pattern papers. Then I adhered the Your Sweet square cut apart to the right center of the card. And here is the completed card. For my 14th card design, I used card sketch number 3 by Freshly Made Sketches. I cut a piece of pattern paper to 1.5 by 5.5 inches and adhered it to the left side of the card. I die cut a scalloped border using red cardstock and adhered that to the left of the pattern paper. I cut a piece of blue pattern paper to 2 and 3 quarters by 3 and a half inches and adhered it to the center of the card. Then I adhered the Hello Love cut apart to the center of the blue pattern paper. And here is the completed card. For my 15th and final card design, I used card sketch number 559 by Mojo Monday. I cut a piece of pink cardstock to 5.5 by 4.25 inches and adhered it to the card base. I cut a piece of 4 by 4 pattern paper to 4 by 2.5 inches and adhered it to the bottom center of the card. I cut a piece of teal cardstock to 3 and 3 quarters by 3 and 3 quarter inches. I cut a piece of 4 by 4 pattern paper to 3 and a half by 3 and a half inches and adhered it to the teal cardstock. I adhered that to the upper center of the card, partially overlapping the other pattern paper. I cut a piece of pink cardstock to 2 and 1 eighth by 1 and 3 quarter inches and adhered the picture perfect cut apart to it. I adhered that to the center of the card. And here is the completed card. Here is my 10th card with the Operation Write Home card sketch. And here is a look at the 15 cards I made using the Hello Love Card Connections card kit. Thank you so much for watching my video. If you enjoyed it, please subscribe and please give me a thumbs up. Also, let me know which card is your favorite in the comment section below. Have a wonderful day. Bye bye.